With mining becoming really popular over the past few months and very, very profitable, everyone is jumping to get those video cards, if you can find them, of course. Today, I'm going to be overclocking the RTX 3080 Palette GameRock OC Edition. This is really an awesome card, and I've gotten 104 mega hash per second plus with this card at around 220 watts. Let's get to it. Okay, so we've got the RTX 3080 Palette GameRock in the system, and here I have my energy usage. So at the moment we're consuming 230 watts at all stock clocks, and obviously I'm not mining at the moment, so that's going to go up, and we're going to see how much we can mine at stock clocks. So I'm going to go with Ether Mine. I do have a batch file here, which I've amended, and at the end I've put in dash gpus 2 because i have two gpus but all this means is that it's just going to use gpu that's in pci express slot number two so that's basically just going to use my one card because the other card i have is a very very old gtx 670 that i'm using to screen capture this video so i didn't want the hash rate to be affected by that on the 3080 so i added the the older card so we're going to start the mining and there you go on PCI Express slot 2 RTX 3080 only at stock clocks power is at set 200 clock 0 for memory and clock 0 for GPU we should be getting around 85 or 87 I think it's something like that okay there we go 86.9 and the current power consumption is almost at 600 watts for the entire system so that went up from 230 to 600 watts so that's pretty much 400 watts uh, almost 400 watts of consumption right there quite a bit I think the the TDP on this card is about 360 anyway so at stock clocks we're getting 86 mega hash on Ethereum. I'm using Phoenix Miner 5.4C and I'm mining to Ethermine. So on the fly right now, I'm going to give you my overclock settings to achieve 104 mega hash plus on the Palette GameRock OC. So power 75, clock minus 80 now i'm reducing the clock in order for there to be stability when i overclock the ram and i'm using precision x1 evj precision x1 to do the overclocking because on msi afterburner it does not let me overclock the memory more than 1500 megahertz so on this i can overclock to 1750 for example i'm going to apply the changes Watch the power, it's going down, okay, and watch the hash rate, it's going up, 94, 100.9, 104.2, and there's your 104 mega hash right there, 104 mega hash plus, I've even seen 105 mega hash sometimes as well, but it all depends. 102, 103. I did run this for weeks on end and it was stable with these clock settings. So 1750 on the clock, on the memory clock, minus 80 on the core clock and 75% power. Actually, I can actually go less. I think I actually went down to 50% power on this and it will still keep the same hash rate. Just got give that a second. Power is now at 483 
watts. Let's give that a second to settle. It does take a while to reflect. And there we go, 100. like this what did I click hundred and one point six hundred and one point seven hundred and one point eight I'm not touching anything at the moment it's doing it all on its own we're finding shares. We're not getting any invalid shares or any stale shares so far. 101.9, Yes. Come on. 50%. I think actually it was 51 percent power so I'm just going to apply that just that it will be the fine tuning there right there that one percent look at that 103.97 104.78 can we hit 105 Ooh, getting there 104.89 and no almost but anyway 104 mega mega hash plus it'll get there I have seen 105 occasionally so not getting any invalid shares not getting any errors I don't want to push the memory clock higher than 1750 I mean that's quite high already and we're doing that at 490 watts total system power now I will kill the miner in a second just so we can see the power drop and we can calculate exactly how much the card is burning so let's go up Okay, so we're going to kill the miner. It's 104.8 mega hash, and we're finding shares. So that's that's very good. So from 490, I'm going to kill the miner. Gone. 490. We're dropping to. 233 okay so we're back as if I was doing nothing quick maths 490 minus 233 we were using 260 watts on average to do the mining okay let's do another quick test with nice hash on the RTX 3080 I have disabled my other older GPU. Obviously, it wouldn't probably mine anything at all. So we've got devices. Our old GTX 670 is disabled. And we've got the Palet GeForce RTX 3080. Let's just put this to the side. Same clocks. And on this, we're going to use excavator as a miner. So we can compare if that's going to use more wattage or not. And it does, I think. So excavator has started. Okay. 
will mining dagger Hashimoto dagger Hashimoto emphasis on the Hashi for my Maltese friends you know what it means okay 104.22 now here I've noticed that the power is not reporting correctly on excavator I mean it's, it's, it's an Nvidia card and I've read that it should be quite accurate on Nvidia cards maybe not so much on the AMD cards so I don't know why this is might be a bug I'm using one version 1.6.3 G which is the newest and latest version at the time of this video okay so it's 104 megahertz why did I say megahertz it's 104 mega hash plus okay and it's still doing it at the same power consumption as phoenix minor 490 that's where we were at before so we're basically consuming 260 watts which isn't too bad shares are being accepted pretty much every few seconds and at the time of this video with the Bitcoin price being around 47,000 euros I'm making 8 euros a day and that's after electricity because here I'm displaying net profit that's pretty good so 100 and 4.1 so on phoenix miner we were getting slightly more mega hash the advantage with excavator is that there are no dev fees on phoenix miner there's a 0.65 percent dev fee which is basically nothing it's not much i mean it mines for about an hour and a half in the entire day to the developers on phoenix miner but you do get that boost in mega hash as well so that's pretty cool so there you have it again just to recap the overclock settings 1750 for the memory clock I don't want to push it I did push it to 1760 with 51% power but it does start to flicker and randomly will start to crash i think this card is brilliant for what it is i think it does an awesome job from other reviews i've seen online other cards do less and they do thermal throttle quite a bit especially i think the eagle cards if i'm not mistaken so you might need to change thermal pads on those on this i did not touch anything as I got it from the shop, it came out of the box, went into the PC, and it's doing just fine. GPU temperature is running at 52 degrees, which is quite, quite good. And another thing, which is cool about this card, that I can show you right now, is that if you run Hardware Info, okay, I'm going to run for sensors only. I'm going to put all the links and, and uh, information in the description below this video for you guys to check out as well. Let's just open up Hardware Info. Because a great thing on this card that you don't find on all of the cards. For example, you could have an RTX uh, 3080 gigabyte, for example, and it might not have this sensor. So we're going to bring this up, up here. Okay, if we go down and find our GPU, there it is. Here we have GPU temperature, which is at 52 degrees, and we've got the memory junction temperature, which is extremely, extremely important. Memory junction temperature tells you the temperature between all the memory modules on the video card which we are currently really stressing out and it's sitting at around 100 it did get up to a maximum of 102 
with an average being 100 degrees Celsius. Here, if you just go on the, on the word GPU memory junction temperature, it does say that thermal throttling starts at around 110 degrees, which we are nowhere near. I have let this run for a week, non-stop, and it does not get any higher than that. It stays at 100. GPU temperature stays at 52 degrees. At night, it even goes down, even down to 50. Um, so it's pretty, pretty well tuned, in my opinion. So we're just going to close this down. So tell me what you think about this video in the comments below, and tell me what hash rates you have gotten with an RTX 3080 being a pallet game rock uh, OC like mine or maybe a G for a uh, gigabyte or a, a gigabyte eagle or an eagle or any other other EVGA brand or whatever you have you know just let me know down in the comments below there we go 104.06 this is wrong but anyway pretty cool thank you guys for watching please do like and subscribe to my channel please do subscribe i know that most of you are watching my videos and are not hitting that subscribe and notification bell so please do so and let me know what you think in the comments below and until next time happy mining guys take care